Good morning. I'm having a bad morning. Just got a copyright claim for Gaudete, written in the 1500s. Thought I'd have been safe with that one. But apparently, the melody is copyrighted. Anyway, I'm not getting in trouble. I've clicked on the more info bit. Channel impact not affected, so I'm not gonna get in trouble because if you get so many strikes, you can literally lose your channel. So that's something I'm terrified of, obviously after five years of intense work on it. Uh, so that's okay. Um, it's a draft at the moment. Actually, I haven't got my monetization turned on yet, but they've identified it as Gaudete. I'm not sure how to spell this. You know, I, I keep seeing it with one T, so I don't know. Yeah, shared. I've got to share the revenue. So, well, I'm probably gonna earn about three pound on this video but i don't know what percentage they're getting at least i'm not losing much money because i'm not earning much money <sighs> i've been rushing to get this up as well because i am supposed to be working in a minute here we are look i've had an email as well dear the life of Ibo, your video daily vlogs uk that's what everything goes up as at default before i decide what to call it may have content that is owned or licensed by peer music okay I've calmed down. I'm going to get on with my day. I need to start filing in the office actually, but IB's been really held up on a site visit. So I'm not in a rush to start, but I'm going to start soon. I'm just brushing my hair and finishing off getting dressed and everything. Oh, that, that distracted me, that did. I'm ready to go down to the office and start on the filing that I can do when IB is not there. And then I'll do that until he either turns up or I'll finish and come in and do something else. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't know quite how long he's going to be and neither does he. In the office, heater on. It's a bit chilly in here. I left a bit of a mess yesterday. I haven't finished what I'm doing, so I'm going to carry on and I shan't be vlogging it because I need to, you know, clock on and get on with it. It's just gone 1.40 now, so I've done about an hour and 20 minutes of filing and I've come to a point where I can't do any more without... I be there to direct me because I've done everything. So it's lunchtime anyway, so I'm gonna have a forage around and see what I can find myself for some lunch. Well, I found this in the cupboard. It's one of those really long life things that's right on its date, which is November 21. Doesn't say which day, but that suggests to me that IB has had it for ages and ages and not got around to eating it. So I think I'm probably safe to eat that one. It takes 15 minutes on the stove, apparently. I've also found a potato, so I'm going to do that in the microwave. Great, well that's on and, and that's on, so while that's all doing, I'm going to put all this lot in the dishwasher. Well, most of that's all cleared off and I'll wait till I've had my dinner, then I'll pop the last couple of bits in and then set that off. Oh, microwave's done. I grated myself a little pile of cheese to go on it. It only just fit in the bowl, look, and uh, I might have put a bit too much cheese on, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I'm going to go and eat that now. Well. I've had a good go at it, that's all I could manage. Don't know what's the matter with me lately. I've not been as hungry as my usual self. And I'm having terrible trouble sleeping at night as well. I'm rarely nodding off before 3 a.m. And the last two mornings obviously got up with an alarm. So, bit sleep deprived. Speaking of which, Ibi is still not back. I've no idea when he's back. I'm gonna go and work with him when he is, but I'm thinking I'll just go and lie down and shut my eyes for a bit and see if I nod off now, because I'm really tired. <laughs> I was really tired in bed the last many, many nights, but couldn't nod off. Well, I absolutely couldn't sleep. I lay down for 45 minutes and then just gave up and I got back up again, but Ibi's back now. He needs to do another hour's work in the office. He doesn't have time to direct me today but I'll come back next week and do the jobs that he had lined up because it's not urgent so yeah I'll probably do one or two days next week at some point. I am going to practice my flute now for that hour because that's something I can do here so I shall. <laughs> It's about 20 past four now and I've been playing some simple scales really, but it's time I got going. Think of this box. This doesn't lie flat like my old one used to, you know, it just goes at a funny angle. Oh well, and then it closes, like self closes. It's five past six in the evening. I've just got home. I didn't film on the way back. I was just chatting to Ivy all the way and just enjoying being present in the moment. Um, to my great surprise, a parcel was waiting for me when I got back and I opened it up thinking I didn't order anything on Amazon, did I? And it's something from the wish list. So, two items. Thank you very much to the person who sent me that. I've had a quick peek and I've shut it up again and I'm going to open anything from the wish list on camera on Christmas Day. That's my, 
my plan. So thank you so much to that lady who has sent that. The bins are now here. They came home with us. IB's gone again now. He's got stuff to do. So I am home alone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sit and edit what I've done today because I literally can't even remember what I filmed. It's been so bitty and just little bits here and there because I've been, you know, busy working in the office and stuff. So I just want to find out what on earth I've filmed and then I'll know where to go with the rest of the vlog then. It's about half past seven now. I confess I did not make the healthiest dinner choice, but it was just me and that's what I had. I've got a little job to do now, which is package this parcel up. Now, if you saw my video about eczema, you'll know what that was. If you didn't, well, I'll link it at the end and you're welcome to have a look if you're interested. It's, um, it's a load of eczema nightwear specialist. I'll show you quickly, but it's in that video at length. It was a not sponsored video. I pestered a company to send me some things to show, which I'm sending back and it's being collected tomorrow. In fact, they've arranged for a collection for me. So I just need to package it up, but I've got to try and remember how it all was because um, it might not quite go back in the same way as it was. You see, the reason I wanted to show this stuff off, sorry if you already saw the video, a lot of people didn't know it. Uh, it wasn't, uh, a very highly viewed one particularly, so I know a lot of people didn't. It's just, it's specialist eczema nightwear. So if you've got a scratcher, it stops them cutting themselves to shreds with their fingernails all night and everyone gets a good night's sleep and it's brilliant. So anyway, if you're interested in what that whole box looked like and our story of how we struggled for all those years, do feel free to go back and watch that eczema video. But right now I'm gonna package that all up and get it ready for the collection. Helpfully, some of these have got the actual names of the things written on the packaging, so that's good. That's a clue. Well, I'll do those ones first and then see what I've got left. Oh, I really can't remember how they were folded. <laughs> I think they'll just repackage them for me though, won't they? They won't mind. Okay, I think I have a plan. That kind of looks okay. Hmm, maybe not that. I suppose I could actually go and watch my old video to see but I think I'm just gonna improvise. On this one now the little pyjama top look with the uh, scratch proof hands all built in. We absolutely relied on these. I'm making the right pig's ear of it again. I'll tell you what they won't be um, getting this parcel back and then ringing me up to offer me a job as a packist or packer whatever you call it because it's, pr it's clearly just not me. It looks a bit like a straight jacket now the way I've done that. I'm trying it a different way. This is the back. I turned it around the other way. Right, I reckon if I just do that, that might be a bit better. I'm getting there. Look, it's not so bad. <laughs> Nearly there, not many to go. Just the little pajama set and the gloves I put back in the bag anyway. So that's all right. And these must go in there because that's the only other packaging left, the unlabeled one. I'm actually feeling quite proud of myself. It's not right, but it's better than I thought I was going to do. Just the paper to go on top and seal the box up and then that job is done. Then I'll be on to my bins. Nearly there. I don't even have to label it. I was originally going to print out a return label that they were going to send me. But after I did the video, they said, we don't want to put you to any trouble. We'll send somebody to collect it and they'll come with a label. So yeah, cool. So that's all ready to go. Now I bought five recycling bins, three for my room, two for Izzy's. I can't remember if it was that way around yesterday. I might've changed my mind about who was having three and who was having two, but there is a rationale for it. Um, yes, I'm gonna take these upstairs now. I've got my liners in now. Look, that's gonna be my general waste one. One for paper and one for metal and plastic and glass. I don't get a lot of that, to be honest, up here. It's mostly paper, but what I have been using is that for my general waste with like a carrier bag liner and everything else for recycling in there. And then I'm taking that down like often to take it all out and sort it downstairs. And it's a pain, especially as this is actually my shredder thingy. And I've got stuff in there that I need to shred as well. So... I've been getting put off shredding because my shredding bin's always full of other stuff. So hopefully now it won't be. I can pop that there, in fact, next to the others. Yay. And what I'm going to do probably after I finish the vlog tonight, because I want to just sit and do it in my pyjamas and listen to some videos and things, but I'm going to make some labels to go on. Might laminate them, might not, I haven't decided. So that you can tell what's supposed to go in what bin. But I 
I'm shattered. I don't know why. Well, probably not being able to sleep for the past few nights is probably why. But anyway, because I am so tired, I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching this one. Could you like it if you liked it? Because it helps the channel to grow. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my story when I'm a bit more awake, feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!